Hereditary angioedema, or HAE, is a rare non-allergic form of angioedema, or swelling. In most cases, HAE is inherited, but around 25% of those diagnosed are the first in their family to have HAE. HAE attacks may be painful, debilitating, and even life-threatening. A variety of situations can trigger an HAE attack, such as fatigue, stress, sickness, hormonal changes, and more. But the root cause of HAE is missing or dysfunctional C1 esterase inhibitor, also known as C1-INH. Normally, C1-INH regulates inflammation by keeping the production of pro-inflammatory complexes in check. But people with HAE have low levels of working C1-INH, which prevents the regulation of pro-inflammatory complexes, leading to unpredictable attacks of angioedema or swelling. Let's take a closer look at the inflammatory process and the role of C1-INH. C1 esterase inhibitors have been used and studied in HAE for over 35 years. They impact four inflammatory cascades, including the calocrine kinin cascade, which has a powerful influence on the inflammatory process. Here's how the latter part of the calocrine kinin cascade works. When the body doesn't have enough functional C1-INH, there's a greater potential for an unregulated pro-inflammatory complex called pre-calocrine high molecular weight kininogen to undergo a structural change to become a calocrine complex. Part of this complex is then cleaved to release bradykinin, which goes unregulated. Bradykinin is a key inflammatory mediator of vascular permeability that binds to receptors on cells lining the inside of blood vessels. Unregulated bradykinin causes the cells to lose their attachment to each other, allowing fluids and proteins to leak out into the surrounding tissue. This can result in an HAE attack. Attacks can happen anywhere in the body, including the face, throat, abdomen, and limbs. So how can we prevent all this from happening? HAGARDA. HAGARDA is a C1 esterase inhibitor. HAGARDA addresses the root cause of HAE by replacing missing or dysfunctional C1-INH, thereby regulating the calocrine kinin system. C1-INH inhibits pre-calocrine and calocrine. This regulates the production of bradykinin, which prevents unnecessary and unpredictable episodes of vascular permeability and can help prevent HAE attacks from happening in the first place. When self-administered subcutaneously twice weekly, prophylaxis with HAGARDA builds and maintains steady levels of functioning C1-INH, which allows the body to regulate inflammation in the same way it does naturally and can prevent HAE attacks. The 2017 World Allergy Organization Treatment Guidelines for HAE recommend the use of C1-INH for first-line, long-term prophylaxis. HAGARDA is the only subcutaneous C1-INH therapy indicated for the prevention of HAE attacks. In the pivotal clinical study, HAGARDA reduced HAE attacks by 95%, and people taking HAGARDA reduced their rescue medication use by over 99%. And with weight-based dosing, patients receive an individualized amount of C1-INH based on their body weight. The most common adverse reactions occurring in greater than 4% of patients while taking HAGARDA were injection site reactions, nasopharyngitis, hypersensitivity, and dizziness. These patients were treated with 40 IUs per kilogram and 60 IUs per kilogram. Be empowered to break free from HAE. Now here's some important safety information that you need to know about HAGARDA. HAGARDA, C1 esterase inhibitor subcutaneous human, is an injectable medicine used to prevent swelling and or painful attacks in patients six years of age and older with hereditary angioedema, HAE. A healthcare professional can teach you or caregiver to self-administer HAGARDA for prophylaxis. Do not use HAGARDA to treat an acute HAE attack once it starts. Work with your physician to plan for attacks if they occur. Do not use HAGARDA if you have previously experienced life-threatening immediate hypersensitivity reactions, such as shock, to HAGARDA or other C1 INH products. Immediately report any symptoms of allergic reactions to HAGARDA, including hives, chest tightness, wheezing, difficulty breathing, turning blue, faintness, facial swelling, and fast heartbeat. Before starting HAGARDA, Tell your healthcare provider about all medical conditions you have, including pregnancy or nursing, a history of heart disease or stroke, 
an indwelling catheter or access device in a vein, or immobilization for a sustained period. Also tell your physician about any other medications you are taking, as some medications, such as birth control pills and certain androgens, can increase risk of clotting problems. High doses of C1INH have been known to increase the risk of blood clots. Immediately report to your physician or an emergency room if you have any of the following symptoms of a blood clot, pain or swelling of arm or leg, with warmth or discoloration over the affected area, unexplained shortness of breath, chest pain or discomfort that worsens on deep breathing, rapid pulse, and numbness or weakness on one side of the body. In clinical studies, the most common side effects reported with Hegarda were injection site reactions, pain, redness, swelling, hypersensitivity, itching and rash, dizziness and nasal symptoms, including stuffy or runny nose and sneezing. These are not the only side effects possible with Hegarda. Tell your healthcare provider about any side effect that bothers you or does not go away. Because Hegarda is made from human blood, the risk that it may transmit infectious agents, including viruses and, theoretically, the agents of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, and its variant form, VCJD, cannot be completely eliminated. Please see full prescribing information for Hegarda, including patient product information. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. You can also report side effects to CSL Bearings Pharmacovigilance Department at 1-866-915-6958.